So everyone is here to know about the bait. There was a specific bait that Ewing and I talked about at the award ceremony and I'm looking at it right here. I've got a couple fish catches in the day one video on this bait. There he is. Let me make sure y'all can see it. Uh, yeah, there he is. It's a bug. It floats. These fish were keyed in on cicadas. You can hear them in most of the clips in the video very loud. And these fish were waiting for these cicadas to drop down out of the trees and be on the surface of the water where they could pick them off. For some reason, it is something that the bigger class of smallmouth really like in rivers in the summertime when it is hot and the water is low. Most baits, you can, you know, most finesse baits, you can throw a Ned Rig or a little Senko at them and sometimes they'll eat that. But this bait, they will eat it 90% of the time if they don't see you. So you'll see a few fish catches on day one of that, but day two is when I really got into the heavy sight fishing with this bait. Hope you enjoy. Plenty of other catches on other baits, but this guy was the money maker. Well, here we are, day one of the Hobie BOS at the Susquehanna River. I am currently dragging my kayak through an island. And I think it's on the other side. Good stuff. Let's see. Uh, there's two more guys than I expected at the boat ramp, but that's encouraging. It means it means there's a lot of fish. Hopefully, there's enough for us to all share. And I'm pretty excited because all the practice, I had to leave this area alone after I discovered how many fish are here. Ready to uh, go whack on them, hopefully. Stay tuned. Okay, we're in business. That's bad luck right there. Stay on there, buddy. Dude, what the heck? Y'all ever just beach them? Y'all ever just beach them? First cast. Who cares? It's not bad luck. We we getting right on the first cast. Yeah. All right, there we go. 19 and a half, first fish. Just had to uh, call the tournament director because it said that submissions are turned off for this tournament. And he somehow, he said that somehow the, uh, the submissions for the tournament <clears throat> were turned off. So uh, he turned them on. So I was not actually thinking I was going to get on a great topwater bite in the morning, but my game plan was to sight fish and I knew I would not be able to do that until at least two hours into our day. So I started in an area very close to my good water that seemed like it would set up better for a topwater bite. And since I was in this magical area, there were a lot more fish there than I realized. And so I was able to get on a very strong topwater bite first thing. Missed it. Still on it. Got him. Oh my gosh, he pulled off. He got it again. These fish are wild. Not a big one. I know this fish does not matter. I don't know if it was a whole pack of them or what. Waste of my time. Video of this smallmouth. The hook went into his eye, so he looks dead. He's definitely not dead. 14 and a half inches or 14 and three quarters. Probably never gonna send the video anyway.
in this tournament, we were allowed to fish from outside the kayak as long as the kayak was tethered to us, which is unique to this tournament, but it's because the water is so shallow. You can see it's, you know, most of the time it's not even knee deep in this entire area where I'm fishing. I'm walking upstream, which is really important because you don't scare the fish and they're facing away from you. Also, when you retrieve this bait downstream, it moves a lot faster and makes them react better. Freaking good one, right there. I think, I think it's a good one. Yeah, hopefully he stays on. Big one. That's not a bad one. You barely got it though. Oh, it might be like 17. He's just got one hook. Let's we'll see if we get him. Not a bad one. I don't think it anyway. I think it's a bad one. make a ballsy decision letting that one go if I can find my pliers Freaking big. Holy crap. There's so many over here.
This is so insane. So what you'll notice is I am in about a quarter mile long pool and I'm just working my way upstream. I'm kind of staying on one line that is in the depth range of probably just below my knees because that is where I was getting bit when I would push out into the main part of the channel, which was only two feet deep. I wasn't getting any bites there. So I was sticking in this same kind of depth range. If I went to my right, it was too shallow. To my left was too deep. And you can see right there to my left, there's a little tiny boil um, that's from a, a rock or a boulder, and so I was throwing at all those little boils. Holy crap, they're everywhere. Just need one more big one to bite, and then we got a dang good limit at sunrise. So I've already thrown over this spot. Not every fish was reacting to the bait and biting. Some of them were definitely skittish. They would come up and look at it and not eat it. I would see their weight come up. They wouldn't commit. See this little rock right here? Watch when I take a couple steps further, you'll see these fish bolt. They wake off of it. This was happening a lot, but I wasn't worried about that because I was around enough fish and I only needed one more good one. I really just wanted to leave them for the next day. Come eat it. Come eat it. Come eat it. Uh, some, oh my gosh. Okay, these, these ones are a little wise. Let me throw a fluke. Oh my gosh. There's giant smallmouth everywhere right now. Everywhere. Holy crap. This is so insane. <laughs> Dang it, I missed that one. I don't think it was nice. Can't help but think that eventually one's gonna fall for it though, because the other ones all did. Big. I think he is. Nope. Not gonna do it. Go get eaten. Oh my gosh. Come on, 
fish, I need you bad. Definitely thought that one was bigger than he is, but he's big. He's plenty big enough. Oh, this place, this place is nuts. Ninety-three inches at seven forty-two. That was a big one. Don't think he's gonna help. Dang it, that was dramatic. Hey. Hey. What's up? Hello. What you got? 93. I've got 90 something. There's a bunch of people around me, so. Really? Yeah, I'm not going to submit them yet. I got you. No one's catching any. What'd you get them on? Every single one of them on a chopper. Me too. What size? 105. Nice. I should have like 95 inches. I'm wondering if I should leave this. Do what? I'm wondering if I should leave this area. Yeah, I don't know. I just missed a good one. Uh, on the the silent the little one because I'm just trying some different I got him he's big I think he's pretty big hope he's hooked good uh, I'm gonna leave you on oh my gosh yeah it's a good one I got him. Oh, he's not. I think he'll help. Yeah, so I did mess up one of my pictures on a 17 and 3 quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I hope. I think it'll be accepted. Like, I don't have the entire identifier in it. Mm -hmm. But the number and where it says Harrisburg PA is. Oh, yeah. I, I guarantee you he'll take it. He was saying that he's willing to accept on the day one identifier as long as he can tell that it's for day one it's fine because it's not you can't really like fake the day one identifier so you'll be you'll be fine i think i'm a, i'm really thinking about this leaving here yeah no this one's only 17 he's going back 
Only 17. I want the big one to get it from him. Can't tell if he's actually that big. Nah, the one with him is not even big. These hooks are the scary ones. The number four is scary, but a number two is terrifying. Dang, he got it good. That's what we want. Probably about a 14 incher. Bye, buddy. Be big. Be big. Nope. Not big. Please stay on there. I think he's big. Oh, small one. Look outside the mouth. Well, that's better than losing him and thinking that I lost a grown one. Stay on there, buddy. Wow.
Okay, I see one up here. And I'm gonna be honest here. I'm afraid to catch it because I don't think it's big enough. I think I'm to the point where. I gotta make sure they're big enough before I throw. And that one, that one doesn't quite look like what I'm needing right now. But there was definitely another big one over here, I thought. And I finally just left because they were so spooky. I'll go back and try to finesse them tomorrow. I've got three, but I'm just, I've got two more spots down in front of me that should have some fish in them. I'm fighting one right now that's probably like 17. I shouldn't have cast at it. I thought it was bigger. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, once this thing's over, we can have a, a confidential meeting about some uh, interesting smallmouth stuff. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, oh, I promise you, you don't know what it is, and I don't think anybody in the whole field knows what it is. I'll let you know. Really? Man. I gotta get off here, director's calling me. <laughs> All right, man. See ya. Later. Hey, man, sorry, I, uh, I ended up just taking another picture because I didn't hear back from you right away. Okay, yeah, I got this other picture. I'm like, I, I couldn't couldn't match them up, but uh, yeah, my, my apologies. I got I got tied up there for a few minutes. and uh, All good. But, uh, all right, good. Keep catching donkeys, dude. Yeah, right, I'm, fi I'm fighting one right now, but I don't think he's going to help me, so I'm not oh. I'm not that uh, worried about it. it. Yeah, it's probably an 18-incher, and you're just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm kind of mad that I, that I hooked it. I, 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 I mean, I'm not... I'm not quite ready to let off the gas because, uh, you know, if I make the gap big today, it'll uh, it'll help tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I'm actually I see a freaking monster one that I'm about to throw to right now. Okay, I'm gonna get off the phone. All right, I'll see you. Please stay on here, fish. Please stay on here. you're doing but it's freaking me out fish it's really freaking me out come here These boys are How big are you? So at this point I had caught my topwater fish, went and selectively picked off a couple more big ones and I was at 95 inches 
but I decided to go and explore some and just fish some water that it was really, really hard to sight fish them, but there were some big ones around just to see if I could knock out one more big bite. I think that one's gonna help. And I also think we're done fishing. Okay, headed back through my little trek. Uh, really, really good day. Sitting in the lead with 95 and a half inches as of now. Pretty much laid off my fish at like 10 o'clock. And went around and tried to be really selective sight fishing and uh, went from 93 after the morning and uh, called my way up to 95 and a half. I didn't sting very many. Conditions are going to be different tomorrow. Should get that top water bite still as long as I didn't catch too many of them. But I will not have the option to go sight fish later because it's going to be cloudy. So hopefully I get them right away on the top water and we lock this thing up my little brother is gonna make me earn it sounds like he is also on some fish i'm glad um and yeah he's in third a couple inches behind me and <clears throat> he's pretty confident about his top water thing tomorrow just like i am we will see